Hello and welcome back here to Talk SCB and today I'm just going to open with a massive thank you to everyone who watched the Sergi Samper, Neymar and Messi performance analysis reviews after Wednesday's Champions League match. Really appreciate all your comments guys, had a really really good feedback, everyone seemed to enjoy the analysis and I really enjoyed bringing it to you. So thanks so much for everyone who's uh, taken a look at that and also the new subscribers we have on the channel, everything is going great. On to the review of Sunday night's match against Levante. It's a big game, an away game, where we're, we wasn't so used to going there and getting up points. You know, last season we went there in the league, we drew one all. It was a really, really tough game. I remember it's such a frustrating match, because Levante are a side, a typical relegation battle side in La Liga. They do sit deep, they do park the bus, and they've got those players who are reaching the end of their careers, 34, 35, 36-year-olds. They've got defender Juan Fran, who is, you know, near his 40s. They've got Ventura at the back. They've got a very, very strong defensive line but this season they really haven't got going they've had a disastrous start of the season they're bottom of the league with only one point from their opening three games and little more than that they haven't even scored a goal so whereas we're one end of the spectrum top of the league we haven't conceded a goal they're bottom of the league haven't even scored a goal so going to Levante they've lost Kayla Navas of course that'll be a big boost to us I remember last season he made a host of brilliant saves uh, from Lionel Messi from Neymar as well so uh, losing him will be a boost of course he's going to Real Madrid I haven't seen much of him in the in the white of Real Madrid yet um, but it's going to be a big game we went there in the Copa del Rey won there 5-1 won 4-1 at the camp now so you know we've had some positive results against them and of course you all remember the first game of last season we won 7-0 at the camp now against Levante so certainly we can put a few goals on them they're a team who at the moment are very low on confidence they are there for the taking but at the same time like with Apoel and Nicosia we can't afford to go there and take the game lightly we've got to go there with the right attitude the right mentality and Luis Enrique has to pick the right team because we've got quite a few fixtures coming up in the next two weeks and they're all quite closely grouped together so we're going to have to pick the right side and possibly rotate some players if that's what Luis Enrique chooses to do. It's impossible to predict this lineup. It really is. It's so difficult now to actually look at the side and, and imagine who's going to be playing. Uh, the players have got a day off today from training. They're not training today, but back in tomorrow for Saturday for some light training before we go to Levante on Sunday evening to play our La Liga match. I think Ter Stegen or Bravo. That's the big question, isn't it? Who is going to start in goal? Because Bravo's done brilliant in La Liga. Clean sheets, you know, no goals conceded for him. But at the same time, Ter Stegen really was outstanding in the Champions league he wasn't really troubled all night then he had to make a top draw save out of nothing and he, and he really his distribution was good he was very very good in terms of anticipation as well so it's a really big decision Luis Enrique's got to make who does he choose Ter Stegen or Bravo personally I would go with Ter Stegen because He's going to be our number one in the future, so he's ready now, I believe. He showed against Applewell that he's got the characteristics to become a good goalkeeper. If he's ready, why not throw him in? You know, we've got to start playing these players. Claudio Brower is an excellent goalkeeper, but when Ter Stegen's fit, when he's on form, I don't see why he shouldn't be in the lineup. I mean, then you've got the right-back spot, which is another one with, you know, quite a bit of debate about it. Danny Arm is, of course, fit now, played against Applewell, played decently well. We've got Douglas, who still hasn't made an appearance for us, and Montoya, who was left out of the squad against Applewell. And the reason for that is, I think Montoya was left out, so he could well be involved against Levante. I think he had a pretty decent game against Athletic. I thought he played quite solidly. And the thing with Montoya is he's a player who is expected to make good growth. He's expected to develop a lot this season. And I do expect him to. He hasn't quite proven to us the player he looked when he was a few years ago. He looked really, really promising a few years ago. Hasn't really developed in that way as of yet. But I'd like to see him get a few more opportunities, a few more run of games. And maybe, you know, when he gets a bit of confidence, you know, when he's put in the team a few weeks running, maybe then we'll see a bit of an improvement in him and I'd love to see that because Montoya is a player who does have good characteristics he's a good right back he's got a bit of pace he's got a bit of strength about him he's very very good defensively he needs to work on going forward but at the same time he's got potential so I'd like to see a bit more of him Jordi Alba will come in back at left back Adriano played against Applewell but Jordi Alba will return against Levante the centre backs another big question of Luis Enrique it's nice this season that we've got these sort of decisions that we've got the players in the squad that we've got to make big decisions personally I would go with Jeremy Mathieu I thought he's been brilliant so far in La Liga absolutely brilliant and I'd probably go with Gerard Piquet I thought Mark Barcher played really well uh, against Applewell very very switched on uh, but Luis Enrique doesn't seem to want to go with him in the league as of yet, so I think he'll go with Machu and Piquet. Thomas Vermaelen, by the way, is back in full training. 
Um, he may well get the medical green light before Levante match on Sunday. So I don't think he'll start from the off, but we may well see him on the bench for that game. I'd like to see Thomas O'Malley as soon as possible, and I think he could well be on the bench. So Machu and Piquet centre-backs. Busquets will return to defensive midfield. Sampa played a brilliant match against Apoel, but I don't see him being involved here. But I do see him being involved later on in the season. Luis Enrique, every chance he gets, will include Sampa at some stage. Centre midfielders will be back to Iniesta and Ivan Rakitic. Uh, Rakitic left out of the match against Apoel. Xavi came in and Sergio Roberto as well. Iniesta came on as a sub, but he'll start from the off alongside Ivan Rakitic, who's been so impressive in his opening three matches in the league. The front three is again a bit of a debatable one. Uh, Lionel Messi and Neymar are expected to start again. Those two in fully fit condition, I think. Uh, Neymar came off against Apoel at the end of the match with a little bit of a limp, but uh, he appears to be training fine, no problems. Um, and then the third spot. Munir came off against Apoel. He was quite quiet. Uh, Sandro came on. Again, he had some bright flashes, but again, quite quiet as well. So... It's going to be interesting to see who uh, Luis Enrique goes with. Pedro left out of the game against Apoel altogether, so that does again lead me to believe that uh, Pedro will be involved from the off against Levante, and I think the front three will be Pedro, Messi, and Neymar. So it's going to be an interesting lineup, but as always, the lineup that starts the game may not be the most effective players. We've seen in recent weeks the players that come off the bench are very much a big part of the game as well. Neymar against Athletic, Sandra Ramirez against uh, Villarreal. So, you know, at the end of the day, the players that come onto the pitch, you know, the players that, uh, you know, make the impact, they are the important ones as well. So everyone that's included in the match day squad can think, you know, we can make an impact on this game. A few things that I'd like to see is um, Rafinha. I'd like to see him come on and actually make an impact. He's, he's a really great player, so much potential. We haven't seen it from him yet, though. He hasn't delivered yet, and he, he needs to improve his performance at the moment because uh, there's a lot more to come from him. I'd like to see another clean sheet. I think if we can go four La Liga matches in a row, five matches in all competitions without conceding a goal, that would be simply amazing, considering our defensive record last season, to concede no goals in our first five uh, matches in all competitions. That would be simply incredible. So it'll uh, be interesting to see who starts in goals, be interesting to see who starts in centre-back, and it'll be interesting to see who starts in the front three. But um, there's a lot of decisions for Luis Enrique to make, but he's shown so far this season he's got no hesitation in making them. So I'm expecting another win. Um, it's going to be quite hard fought. We need to score in the first half. We need to open up Levante as soon as possible. I'm going to go with a 3-0 win. We're going to keep another clean sheet and we're going to get some goals as well. And I hope that's the case. And I really hope we don't leave it to the last 10 minutes for the second game in a row. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave your predictions below. What do you think the score will be this weekend? I'm really keen to hear your thoughts on the game coming up. And I'll see you very soon, I'm sure, for another podcast. Thanks very much. Watch it! Watch it!